Welcome to the Legend of Grimrock. This is the Legend of Grimrock, and this is a custom dungeon. This is the Secrets Cove. Um, what this video is all about is Mission 4. about mission four of the castle. So when you um, go into the mine, um, oh there he is, look, there's the old git himself. We haven't opened these things, have we? These things have got to be opened. It's quite easy to do it as long as you know how. There it is. <laughs> blue ones, definitely. Here he comes, look. Here he comes, here he comes. Stopped him in mid-flow by the look of it. Oh, he only produced one of his spawn. That was damn lucky. So what we're doing now is we uh, we have actually defeated the skeleton in the mine. Because when you go to the mine, grab the old crossbow, use the shortcut to the castle. Uh, here, blue stones I mean. There's a little shortcut here. You go straight through that fake wall and you are in the blue stones. And you'll notice that mission four is open. Now, mission four, you do need four keys for that, really, um, to be honest. Um, and it's really handy if you can go and get some flipping bombs for the place. Um, right, so let's go and get some bombs. I know a place where there are some free bombs going, like here. Some bombs and that, that, not that marvelous, are they? Oh, yeah, the old frost bombs are great. So that's like that. There's a shortcut here to go down to the mine. So, this is the place where we took out the skeleton commander. And if you take out the skeleton commander, then mission four opens. It's as simple as that. Or if you take out, there's one magma golem there. If you take out all three, mission four opens. But we took out the skeleton commander. What happened was, um, when we opened the trap door, in fact, um, he happened to fall down there and we ended up, ended up having to fight him. It was a real fluke. And we took him out. It was really brilliant. Right. So, always stand the other side of the blue stones, otherwise, you get flipping archers, firing arrows at you nowhere. Right. So now we've got a few bombs, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, are there any more bombs that we could get? Not really. Right, so we're going on mission four, which is a bit early. Um, and we haven't got all the keys. You need a tomb key, which we haven't got. Um, but, at least I can show you what's what. You get up to the top of here. There's all these different ways that you can go. It's a very high place. You can see this going on down below. But the, if you go in any direction except this one, you end up in the water. So jump down from there and you end up on dry land. If you jump anywhere else, you end up in the water. If you end up in the water, then you have to do the mission that needs the gear key the rest of it and the gear keeps here. The gear keeps here but you have to find it. So yeah. He needs medicine. Right, okay, we're pretty 
well. Don't go in the water if you're on this section at all. Out again. Well, you will. Impressive, it was that poison, I think. It helped there. And we didn't have a, it, was, it wasn't uh, more than one enemy at once. Nice one, right? So, what do we get out of that? There's a red gem, brilliant. There's a brass key, fantastic. Um, this gold key and this iron key, you would think that we would need for the castle, but you, if you use it and you've got all four keys that are needed for the, re the rest of this mission, then... Hmm. So we came out of there after fighting that bloke and there's this skyway now there's the skyway where you get the um, the gear key I mean you get a gear key in plenty of other places too but this is needed in the water mission the gear key is needed in the water mission so, oh crikey there's another one of these Going up the top here to use this skyway that was initiated by the ice demon. And up the top here somewhere is a gear key. Don't lose the opportunity to find it. Look everywhere. Um, also, the Minotaur has got a second collection going on for junk, which you do need on mission two. You need actually need junk. Um, there's more, some more bombs down this way, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, lovely. Uh, I can tell you what we could have used those a minute ago, couldn't we? Against that flipping ice creature. Still, never mind, we took him out anyway. <laughs> more 
junk for the mine at all. Brilliant. Gets a bit heavy though sometimes. Yeah, look, it's too heavy now. Marvellous. That's as much junk as we want. Um, never going to get anywhere on the water mission but the gear key is right there but sometimes you can just overlook it it's quite amazing um So we've got the gear key. Actually, what do we need for the water mission? We need the gear key, which we've got. We need the tomb key, and we need the gold and the iron key. So we're one key missing. But you can still go and have a look at it. Um, so we can do that. So at least we've got those. So I'll just show you down the stairs. This is what happens when you go down the stairs. You come up against these sentinels. It's a really good idea to take them out right now. Although they seem to be completely harmless, you need the space. Um, it seems a bit uh, unethical taking them out, but in a minute you'll realise why. So, there we go. So, the rapier sword there. That's amazing, isn't it? Rapier sword. Oh, hold on. The juice has come out of her box. Well, there's two of them, actually. Um, actually, we don't need two of these, do we? But anyway. Oh, I'll tell you what, that'll be handy. We'll have that. That'd be, that'd be brilliant. These flipping arrows hurt. They really do. Cough. Um, yeah, I think that's the old green ones. So.
time it dispatched in good time there, eh? Look. Very good. Right, so. Some brilliant stuff here, look. This is absolutely brilliant. He's going to go up on. Oh, he can wear all this armour now. That's, that's come at a really good time, actually. That has definitely come at a good time. Um, mind you, protection plus three, evasion plus five. That is very close. He gets energy plus five from this, though, doesn't he? I don't know. Um, oh, he's got, already got a fantastic hat, look. Um, what's she going to go up on? She's going to go up on... Oh, she's on the top of the light weapons thing there now. So, now what? Oh, I said what? Very nice too. Cool. This is what was in the Medusa's place the whole time. Um, so he can go back with that. These flipping sacks, isn't it? This is what's causing the problem. Right, we'll chuck that out there. And now we won't have a problem. <laughs> right, so now we're going to go on the water mission. We are going to go on the water mission. We've got three or four keys needed. You really need four or four keys, obviously, to do it. Just show you. But it's sort of. So you just jump in anywhere where there's water. Um, the closest you can get is about here. Jump in here. This is the closest to the next mission. So what you do is you just go straight through to this place. Um, there's a secret button here. Open this gate. So if you haven't got a gear key, you don't go any further than that. Um, it's a really advanced mission this. You have got the gear key. So we're into here now. Um, blue one, got one of these, you're going to need them. So what happens is, when you pulls down to this end, you find that there is a tomb lock put a key in there for the two block, you then go through this door, which gives you, actually, I think when you put the two key in first, it teleports you up to the top there, out of harm's way, and you grab all that loot. So we haven't got a two key, which is half of the solution to this area. Um, now, what is the situation here? Because this door closes in a minute. Okay, well let's let them out then. I mean, you, if you use the iron key, and the gold key, and the tomb key, you get all those keys back. You get all those keys all the line, you know. See, now this door's closed, we are stuck. Yeah. 